Today we'll be using Excel for Decision Tree Analysis or DTA. In a previous video, we discussed how to perform event tree analysis or ETA, which is a top-down method focusing on high-level decisions first. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now, we want to use Excel to draw and analyze decision trees. We'll work on an Excel template for project quality management using decision nodes, chance nodes, and terminal nodes in our decision tree modeling, which is a top-down method. This is different to fault tree analysis or FTA, which is a bottom-up approach focusing on basic events first. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's focus on decision making on quality control measures for the electrical wiring in our building project. We can follow only four simple steps in Excel to perform decision tree analysis for our risk management example, based on ISO 31000, which is the international standard for risk management. Step one is to create dynamic templates for decision and chance nodes. Let's start by analyzing the provided spreadsheet accounting for two quality measures. Option 1 is a visual inspection of the wiring with a cost of $19,000. This conservative inspection is risk averse and estimated chance of passing it by our wiring standard is only 60%. Option 2 is a detailed electrical testing with a cost of $29,000. This is a robust testing method with more certainty and the estimated chance of passing it by our wiring standard is 90%. If our wiring fails any of the options 1 or 2, there is a 50% chance that total rewiring is needed with a cost of $48,000. There is also a 50% chance of fixing faulty sections only with a lower cost of $24,000. At this stage, we are able to create decision tree nodes. From the insert menu, select text box and draw the first node template. Then for drawing tools and under shape style, choose black outline. Next, insert a line shape to the right end of node and change its color to black. We can also increase the outline weight as needed. After that, select all elements and group them together for easy placement in any project report. Finally, copy-paste the node template and create several duplicates. This concludes the first step in performing decision tree analysis or DTA using Excel. Step 2 is to build a decision tree based on our problem logic. Let's start with the first entry in our tabular data and place a node for quality control decision. Then we should branch out to consider options 1 and 2 by placing two more nodes. Next, from the insert menu and under shapes, draw a line to connect nodes. After that, change the outline to black and repeat the process for the next node. We may notice that we have a branching pattern in our decision table. To save some time, group all existing elements together and create more copies. We can click and drag while holding the control key. Finally, insert remaining nodes based on our problem logic and link them together. Instead of typing a hard-coded label, we can make a dynamic template by linking it to the tabular data, which is great for future updates of project decision trees. Left-click on the far left node and in the formula bar, type the equal sign. Then select a quality control decision in the table and press enter. Next, we can continue with decision 1, which is visual inspection, and decision 2, which is electrical testing. Again, left-click on each node and in the formula bar, type the equal sign. Then select relevant cells and press enter. Following this procedure makes a dynamic tree which is linked to the data table. This means changing variables in the table will update our decision tree. Now we can focus on the right section of our tree and same procedure is followed for remaining nodes. Please pause the video now and implement what we have done so far. As mentioned before, we can select all elements and group them together for easy reporting. Now we have concluded the second step in performing decision tree analysis or DTA using Excel. Step 3 is to add symbols to our decision tree. You might have seen decision trees with special symbols for decision, chance, and terminal nodes. Although optional, adding those symbols to our tree will enhance its appearance on professional project reports. Let's start with inserting a decision square from the shape menu. Now we can change the color as appropriate. We continue with inserting a chance circle from the shape menu and changing its color. Finally, we should insert a triangle shape for terminal nodes from the shape menu. Rotate it 90 degrees and change its color. Now that all symbols are created, we can click and drag while holding the control key. Place chance nodes wherever we have probabilities and terminal nodes at the end of branches, where all possible scenarios have been exhausted. Again, you can select all elements and group them together for easy relocation and placement in project risk reports. This concludes the third step in performing decision tree analysis or DTA using Excel. Step 4 is to calculate expected monetary value or EMV for optimum decision making. So far, we have completed the visual risk analysis and evaluation by building the decision tree. Now we can focus on quantitative risk assessment by calculating expected monetary values of different decisions. 
Let's start with option 1 which is visual inspection. Click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then select a cost of minus $19,000 since this is the payable amount for the inspection regardless of failing or passing it. Extra costs to add are related to rewiring and section fixes. For rewiring, this is the product of 40% failure chance, 50% chance of total rewiring, and relevant cost of minus $48,000. For section fixes, this is the product of 40% failure chance, 50% chance of fixing defective sections, and relevant cost of minus $24,000. By adding these values, the expected cost of visual inspection will be minus $33,400. The same procedure is followed for finding the expected value of option 2 or electrical testing, which is minus $32,600. The comparison of the two options indicate that electrical testing is the optimum decision since it has lower expected costs. This concludes the fourth step in performing decision tree analysis or DTA using Excel. The beauty of this risk analysis technique is the provision of a structured approach to assess risks, which helps the informed decision making based on outcomes. Also, DTA calculates expected monetary value or EMV for a quantitative assessment of risks and opportunities. Finally, DTA provides a clear visualization of complex decision making processes, which makes it easier to communicate risk related information to project stakeholders. And there you have it. An easy solution to tree modeling using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.